Well, I guess you can say it's not fair that I don't really care for this episode. Mostly because the Lermans just don't feel like an actual people to me. Their society's rules makes no sense, since they disavow all fighting, even in defense of oneself. To the point where one has to wonder how this species even, species even survived this long in a galaxy full of war. Especially when so many people basically will threaten and kill you for no apparent reason, like the Separatists were going to do. They're going to test a new weapon that destroys organic matter, which is a very vague concept apparently to most people, since they assume that organic matter refers to living matter. But the truth is, our, uh, organic compounds, do compounds don't necessarily have to be alive. They're largely composed of compounds that c contain carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, um, nitrogen. I'm not... Uh, if I remember correctly, so yes. Which raises the question, what exactly are the Baldroids made of if they can survive this attack, and how exactly does the defoliator work? How does it differentiate from the droids who probably contain carbon, I'm going to assume, from other life? And for that matter, not all life necessarily contains not necessarily contain carbon. Maybe they're considering we have silicon-based life forms in um, various episodes of Star Trek. And considering how large the Star Wars universe is, it wasn't surprise me if there are silicon-based life forms in there somewhere. I mean, you have space-living giant whale thingies that live inside nebulas, so you can't tell me there can't be room for a silicon-based life form. So, what are the droids made of? Seriously? I'm, I'm sure Wikipedia has a more technical explanation for how this weapon supposedly works, but in all honesty, I don't care, because it, it's being used on, threatened to be used on people who probably wouldn't even be alive. There's, there's no society in this world that can function by not defending itself at all. I mean, the Lermans even lost their own whole world because of this. We don't fight back BS. And yet they still practice this. It's even weirder when you look at the younglings in the, in the episode, because they'll basically admit, we don't respect this code, but we were raised to follow it, so we will. If you don't respect that code, why do you follow it? <sighs> They, like, if you don't have any respect for it, why are you sticking with it? Just because your father is a stubborn old man who likes that code, doesn't mean you have to f stick with it yourself. And what exactly are you going to do anyway? Just let the droids kill you? What's the point? Is it better to die for one's ideals than to, f than to stay alive? Is that, is that what the Lermans are meant to represent? But it's a stupid idea. I mean, if you're going to die non-violently just because you don't want to be considered being uh, be considered part of a fight by not fighting, what's the point? I mean, I can understand throwing your life away for your ideals, but at least go down. But in those instances, people are actually fighting. They're fighting for their ideals, and they're willing to die for them. Why would you choose to just die for your ideals by not fighting just because someone else doesn't respect you, respect those ideals? Or is going to just kill you just because they can? There does come a point where you have to defend yourself. And the Lerman's refusal to do this makes absolutely no sense on any level to me. I guess you can, I guess you can argue I'm coming from this from the perspective of a human being and not of an alien species, but... It doesn't make any sense th to not fight at all, at any time, under any given circumstance. If someone's going to kill you, you should fight back, or at the very least be willing to run away. And the Lermans don't even appear to be willing to do that in this episode, willing to stay there and just die, simply because their opponents want to kill them. Why? I as much as the Elder likes to chastise the Jedi for fighting instead of just giving into the Separatist demands and allowing for peace, one has to wonder at one point does one reach a point where one's self liberty and own determination is worth just not fighting for. I mean there are there are points where you probably shouldn't fight over something because it's not worth it, but to just give up everything 
and a lot of, a lot of your people a lot of slaughtered over an ideal is foolish. So why should I care about these people at all? They, they, they're just not relatable to me in any sense. <sighs> I'm going to be harsh the episode because I'm not focusing on anything else that happens like the Jedi protecting them by force by shoving their ideals onto them and the Elder is simply just walking away because he can't make the Jedi necessarily obey his ideals and not fight. But, why are the Jedi... I realize the Jedi, it's, it's wrong to just let the Lermans to be slaughtered, but one has to ask why the Jedi are allowing themselves to get dragged into a co this conflict if the Lermans themselves would rather not fight and consider it dis a disrespect to their ideals to fight for them. Even when the episode ends, the Elder basically tells them I'm not sure at what cost your help came. Basically implying that he almost would have preferred if the, the droids had killed him. Like, like, I guess you can argue the young members of the tribe were happy for the Jedi's help, but they're stuck with such an ideal that they've been raised to foster. But the, uh, the, what are they going to do with their kids? Are they going to break away from that tradition? Are, are they going to have to uphold the peace thing while they teach their children how to fight? back. How will these people survive without the protection of someone else who is willing to fight so they can practice their ideals? This is what makes their their, their people such a strange concept. They're, they're, they're completely self-defeating. Their ideals are just impractical to the extreme, and it makes them feel like an impractical society, like a society that doesn't need to exist. I realize I keep ranting about this point, but it just bothers me so much that this is the this is a race we're being presented with, of uh, people that are so so pacifistic to the point where anything could kill them, and they wouldn't really do anything about it besides maybe run away, and even then they might just stand their ground and let themselves be killed on the grounds that they shouldn't have to abandon their homes simply because they don't want to fight. <sighs> It's like the Lermans have never had to deal with an outside dictator before, but we already know that they have because they lost their entire homeworld over this be over this stuff previously. If you've read the expanded material that they bring up in the episode, if you watch um commentaries or the or the re airings where they're showing little commentary from the producers and stuff like about the explaining the Lerman, explain these people, they have lost their entire home planet over this pacifistic ideal ideology they have about not fighting. Not not fighting even when their opponent is attacking them for no reason. Like, like there does come a point where you have to defend yourself. And if you're not willing to do that, then you probably shouldn't exist. It, it's the same thing that really makes it hard for me to know if one can even call Tyrannus wrong in infinite space when he blows up an entire colony of pacifistic people simply because they refuse, at all, refuse to fight at all for any reason. Like, even when they're basically being threatened, they don't try to fight back. Like, at least if they came forward and made, they don't stand a chance at winning a fight because they're outnumbered, outgunned, outpowered, and were willing to submit to his rule as a superior warlord or something, fine. It makes sense, but to just ask someone who's going, who came in to kick your teeth in to stop doing so because you won't fight back is pointless. As for the fight the, with the droids themselves, I don't know if I care that much for it. I mean, you have a battle that's happening over a, a society that, in my opinion, just, just couldn't practically exist in the Star Wars universe, considering how violent and bloodthirsty things are. I mean, with all the wars you've seen that happen within the Star Wars past that are on the galactic scale, whether they be with the Sith or the Mandalorians or so on, it, it's just not believable to, that this society could have survived for as long as it has. With these I the ideals it upholds, it makes it hard for me to think about the episode in any way beyond complaining about how unbelievable these people are. And I shouldn't be so distracted by that to ignore everything else, but it's 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 constantly there. I, I would just 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 skipping this episode. The, the the people that are being defended here are so. Unbelievable that it takes you out 
of what you're watching entirely as you try to contemplate how crazy and mad the, this idea is. And I realize this is a rambling rant, but it just it just bugs me so much. <sighs> well, I guess I should end it here. And <sighs> deal with I don't even know what tomorrow's episode will be, but at least this one's done. Sigh. <sighs>